Hey everybody, Fred here from the Canadian Daily with an update on the Arduino Mega 2560 uh, Relay Christmas light controller that you would use uh, for controlling your lights with the program Vixen. So, this is my controller here. Now here's where I had the problem. I had the problem uh, of the mechanical relays, which are labeled 9 through 24 on the top there, and basically uh, it was causing a ground feedback loop uh, through the hub, uh, the uh, USB hub, back to the PC, overloading and shutting off the COM port. So the way around it is doing this, and I'll show you right now. Okay, so you can see here with the little point of the arrow, the blue USB cable going to the Arduino from the powered hub. Now you must use a powered hub coming from your PC. Um, this is so you don't drain all your current from the 5 volt adapter off your Arduino going to the relays to trigger them because they use a lot of current to trigger. So power everything separately i must say and and go over and over and over everything should be powered separately that includes your hubs your arduino every relay board should have its own power and if you can manage to put a uh, power block to each and every relay the more the better um, the higher the current uh, block the better as well too uh, right there where the usb is plugged in the light will kick out um, and lose COM port and communications uh, when too much power is drained uh, from the Arduino or and the PC. Sometimes there is a ground loop created uh, if you hook up the ground of the Arduino to the relay boards. So these mechanical boards I have them set up in a way now that will work and this is how you do it. You do not connect up the ground. So Let's look at them a little more closely. So right here, you quick connect up your main power, which is a separate five volt power supply connected to your ground and your JD VCC. Your Arduino VCC is connected to the uh, pins in the front, your five volt from the Arduino, connect that. And the ground pin over on that set of connectors, you do not connect. Because if you do connect them, you will have a feedback loop. And what will happen, the PC will kick out and you will lose your communications and your COM port um, either in one of your Arduinos or if you have multiple controllers, you'll lose them in all your controllers and you don't want to lose your COM port. So it'll just wipe out your main COM port going to the um, powered hub and then you'll have no communications between any of your controllers. It creates a ground loop somehow of some sort and I did some research on this and found it in one of the forums and it kicks back current to the PC. Now this is only when you have your Arduino boards set up and it's run by USB from your computer and you're using Vixen or maybe one of the other programs as well that run your Christmas lights. Now if you're running a Falcon Pi player uh, off a um, Raspberry Pi, I don't know if this would apply. I have, don't have one. I can't test it. I don't know. But running it direct friendly, uh, directly from the PC that is, it will kick out if you have that ground connected. Now I've been having it on all day set up like this as I have here without the ground connected to the Arduino and it has not kicked out so my COM ports have remained um, in communication with the Arduino so that's a good thing. However I'm changing these mechanical relays out over to the uh, solid state relays or SSRs as they're called um, because they're noiseless and as I have this built in my night table which is next to my bed and I run it um, you know just for every night for Christmas during the month of uh, December and part of November I just don't like to click 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 going on and on and on so um, you know, you can change it to the uh, SSRs and um, they, uh, they're they set up different anyway. So you won't have that issue. Or I haven't found that issue with just the SSRs, put it that way. Um, it just seems to be that with the mechanical ones, you get that issue of that feedback loop. So um, 
that's what I can say on that. Uh, that's one way to solve it is uh, either you can wire it like I have here for mechanical relays if you know you're doing it uh, that way um, because they are much cheaper like two mechanical relays are about the price of one solid state relay but the solid state relays um, are much better um, because they can turn off and on much quicker so you can do uh, a lot more um, controlling of your LEDs shall we say than um, you know the mechanical ones just turning on and off because there is a little bit of delay with the mechanical relays um, opening and closing now these also uh, mechanical relays you have to wire them backwards because these are active low relays the SSRs make sure you you can buy them as active low but make sure you buy it as active high relays um, the mechanical ones are harder to get in active high but you can trick them and that's basically um, what you do there is on the output at the relay output you have your common and you have a normally closed and a normally open so you gotta put it so that when the uh, relay is triggered on which will be right at the be very beginning because the program is telling it to stay off but your relay will be on because it's it sees an uh, active low or zero volts uh, VCC to trigger it on. So um, therefore it's an active low and it's triggered on and your your normally closed uh, relay if I remember right um, so as shown in the diagram here, you want to connect it to the normally closed terminal and your common terminal to work properly. So when the relay is off, your light will be on. Sounds confusing, but it works. When the relay shuts off, in, in the theory, when the relay shuts off, the circuit opens up, but the relay closes it's a slightly confusing so it's working backwards um, so you want it that way um, the SSR relays only have uh, the common and the output so you don't have to worry about it you can't muck that one up too too much um, let's just say on the relay mechanical relay if you put it on one side of the relay and it doesn't work try it on the other side bingo you got it I have like a mixed high trigger SSR and the low trigger mechanicals in this not that that will make a difference but I got it wired so that it'll work now like I said this video here is to show you how to set them up uh, so that they'll stay on and your COM ports will stay on you don't want your COM ports to die out on you when the show is running because that's just friggin annoying and you don't want that to happen so the only way to do it is do it this way now some say that to tie your grounds from your Arduinos and not your plus uh, VCC um, that didn't work for me it kicked out on me so uh, this is one one way that it works for me but it's the connection between your PC, COM port, and wherever you're going down the line to the main. Uh, I run everything like to the main powered hub first, just to give it a boost, um, so that uh, the signal is nice and nice and bright, and um, it goes spread out to the Arduino uh, and the other uh, various um, outputs to the other controllers and whatnot. Um, that's why I have a powered hub right there because I'm also running DMX and some other stuff as well. Uh, so that being said. Like I said, this is just to get you situated for the COM port problem. Um, and like I said, there has been a lot of research that I've done on this. And this is the best solution that I can come up with. And it holds good. But I am going to change those out um, and probably use those two uh, sets of relays in uh, another controller as a separate controller um, for a prop um, outside in the yard. And... Uh, if it goes down on me or something when the show is running that particular prop that's okay I'm, I won't worry about it but I'll know and it won't be mixed with SSRs so ideally I would say go SSRs all the way but you know time and money and money is the big key here so thanks for listening and I'll be back with another tutorial hope you find this very helpful if you do please comment like and subscribe down below smash that subscribe button of course so and the um, bell for notifications so when i do another tutorial you'll be first to hear about it take care stay safe and we'll see you again very shortly